Daily Minutes of Saturday, August 29, 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. Today's bulletin is completely in English. First, we have the propagation bulletin of the RSGB. Today, we also have some MFSK64 at 1000 Hz. MFSK64 at 1000 Hz. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It comes to you as usual from G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the text of the script on the RSGB Zone website. Good morning, this is GB2RS News. It's Sunday the 30th of August 2015. The Radio Propagation Report compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO. The predicted drop in the solar wind failed to materialise this week and is still being driven by coronal holes on the sun. These are areas of weaker magnetic fields that can let plasma escape from the sun's surface. The KP index has hit six times, bringing very unsettled geomagnetic storm conditions to poor and poor HF DX in general, apart from the auroral conditions on the higher bands. There have been a few glimmers of better autumnal HF conditions, but there have also been some very noisy bands at times, completely devoid of signals. The outlook for the next seven days is likely to be similar. Sunspot region 2403 will be rotating out of view, and the rest of the sun is virtually spotless. NOAA says we can expect the solar flux index to be in the range of 100 to 115 next week, but high-speed solar wind effects from coronal holes may continue with a high K index at times. Scientists say that coronal holes are a feature of where we are in the current sunspot cycle and are long-lived as they form near the solar equator. We could be in for more of the same over the coming months, so take the chance to work any DX as and when you hear it. PHF and up now, last week saw almost daily 10 gigs rain scatter propagation over the Channel and North Sea, and once again the coming week is likely to be dominated by low pressure. Since we are getting, still getting some very warm days, there is scope for large showers and thunderstorms to develop, which raises the prospect of more rain scatter conditions on the upper gigs bands. Later this week, high pressure moves in towards the western side of the country. This could bring slightly altered tropo conditions, but the flow underneath the high is not especially moist, which is the preferred condition for VHFDX. If you do notice lift conditions, please try the simplex channels and multi-mode options on SSB and CW, rather than risk co-channel interference by accessing distant repeaters. Sporadic is more sporadic once we move into September, so don't expect much. But if you are searching, then the best thing to do is to look for strong jet scream streams on the upper air weather charts on the RSGB forum. We're back to random meteor scatter propagation on the lower VHF bands and for EME operators, losses are low this week, with moon windows getting longer as the week goes on. And that's it from the propagation team for this week. That's it from me also until next week. Daily Minutes is daily at 1700 UTC on 6.005 and 73.10 kHz and 5 minutes later on the PI2 NOS repeater system. Next day there are reruns, 800 UTC on 73.10 kHz, 830 UTC on PI2 NOS and 12.30 UTC on 95.60 kHz. Our weekend shows are in English, all other shows are in Dutch. Mail address is delta x-ray at x-ray delta victor dot mike echo.